Hello again. So I'm here, we're back, Larry and I, to teach a very short phonics lesson. We're going to first do some blending, and I'd like you to say the words with Larry when the time um, is right, after I give the sounds. So our lesson today for phonics is going to be emphasizing our qu, q, and our v, v sounds. All right, so you are going to join Larry. Okay, so the first part, this is going to be your practice, is qu, it. So now say the word blended together, and the word is quit. Oh, the word is quit. I could do this. Very good. So now we're going to do some more, and I am going to say the two sounds, and then you blend the word together with Larry. Okay, so the next one is v et vet excellent larry you did that very well just like that so let's do the next one qu is quiz qu odd quad v ow vow v v an zion qu Ale, quail, the, ace, vase, and qu, ilt, quilt. Very good. Now the next one is going to be a little different. This one is going to have three sounds. So I need you to pay close attention as I'm doing this next one. I'm going to be giving three sounds and then you blend the word together. So for instance, here's the first one. It's the, a, n. So the word is van. Oh, the word is van. That's right, Larry. So that's exactly what I want you to do for this one. I'll be doing three sounds. So listen carefully and then say the word with Larry. V, A, S, vase. Good. Qu, ale, o, quail. K, I, t, kite. Qu, i, o, t, quilt. That was a hard one. That one had four sounds. Okay, all right, so that is our short little blend lesson, and then we're going to read our um, decodable book this week. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the screen so that you can see the book. And the book is titled, Val is a Vet, so emphasizing our V um, sounds. So um, take a look at the front cover. Who do you see on the front? You see a person. And we can predict that her name is probably Val. And it says, Val is a vet. So what do you think this story is about, boys and girls? If you guessed it's about a vet named Val, that is correct. And a vet is an animal doctor. We've talked about that before. So this is by Mia Hirsch. That is the author who wrote the story. And it's illustrated by Nikki Leonido, which is the person who did the pictures and the illustrations. All right, we're going to turn to the first page. Il and we're going to read the high frequency words. Go ahead and read them with me. Come, hear, have, look. And we have a violin, a quilt, and a van. And we're going to begin reading this story. So Val is a vet. I see a kitty cat on the table. I can come. I have a van. Bud can not run. Val can rub his leg. Quit it, Vic. Go sit in the van. Peg cannot get up. 
Here is Val in the van. Val has a hot pad. Peg can get up. Look, here is the sun. Val and Vic like it. And then these are some words you can review as well and go back and find these sight words in the story. So we're going to go back and find out how does Val help Bud. On this page we see that Bud cannot run. We do not know why Bud cannot run. So Val rubs his leg down here. So that is how Val helps Bud by rubbing his leg. Maybe he has a cramp. Now I want you to think before I turn the page, what does the next person, the next, I'm sorry, the next animal who needs help, what does Val do for Peg? Peg is the cow. Okay, we're going to take, turn the page and look. Peg cannot get up either. So what does Val do to help Peg? If you guessed put a hot pad on the cow, then you guessed correctly. Very good. Now we see that the weather is different throughout the story. At the beginning of the story, think for just a moment, what kind of weather was it? If you guessed rain, that is correct. And we see on this very first page that Val has to put on a raincoat, a hat, and boots. And she goes out in her van to help the animals. Then on this page, it actually even looks like it's snowing. And then finally at the end, we see the sun has come out and it is no longer raining or snowing. All right. And that concludes our short phonics lesson for today on blending and reading our decodable book. I will be sending a screenshot of some words and sentences for your parents to dictate to you. You may use the dictation paper that I sent earlier in the week, or actually I think I sent it on Wednesday. So you will be able to see um, the dictation paper and if you can print it out, great, or you can just use a regular piece of paper and have your parents dictate the words and the sentences. All right, so we will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, boys and girls. See you next time.